who journeyed on to be with his maker and savior. It is Black History Month 2022, and Mr. Robinson, who was born in Jamaica, shares something in common the month of May and the year 1931. And Mary Miles was in South London Press on my first husband's date of birth in 2008, 2004. Mr. Robinson was born at Charlestown, St. Mary, must be given his and his family's accolades in debt and in life for his valuable contributions to the religious society. That Mr. Robinson, who was a carpenter by profession or trade, as we would say back a yard from where he came from, traveling to the mother country with Britain in 1961 to better himself and apply his skill sets to his adopted country, away from the land of his birth. Because let us put on record as we continue extolling the virtues of Mr. Robinson and the Windrush generation, Mr. Robinson was not only social carpenter, he was in a class by himself as he trained others to develop their skill set in carpentry and not be like I'm very nervous. Not be like Mr. Robinson. Some, my granny said, refuse to impart their knowledge to the younger generation to be experts in their chosen career. And that is one of my frustrations within the British society that exploited some of the Windows generation. In the words of Nelson Mandela, the purpose of freedom is to pray for others. As a writer, I am privileged to be given this opportunity to hold my skill, to hold my writing for therapy as I lend my pen to creating the legacy for the Rainbow's generation because Mr. Robinson and my husband share much in common and he is alive age 99 and counting, hanging on, on repentance ground. Like Mr. Robinson, my husband, Arnold Tomlinson worked with his brother doing carpentry in Jamaica. Both spent their life in the borough of Southern. On emigrating from Jamaica to the UK, both worked with Southern Council, where their work was done to the highest standard. That Jamaicans and the Windrush generation are known for in whatever our field of work or business. Southern is one of the diverse forums that facilitated many Windrush generation families, and we can be proud to live in a, to live in and call home. I lived here since 2000, but whilst we are gathered here celebrating with Mr. Robinson's families and friends, I must use this once in a lifetime opportunity to raise concerns and be controversial. Putting on his blue Bennett's bandana and the title like I did for Windrush 70. <coughs> to bring the plight of some of the Windrush generation to the public attention about the systematic discrimination. Existing in the UK, leaving some members of the Bay community facing eight crimes in breach of the Equality Act 2010, protected her <laughs> Leaving those of us who dare to challenge the social injustices of inequalities traumatized by the laws and legislations and social media community standards used to enslave us, for daring to let our voice be heard in a society maintained no blacks, no dogs, no Irish, with them contingent laws. Of England and Wales used to preside over miscarriage 
are hounded until we lose our mental and physical capacity to function in an ageist, racist society where the disabled are accused of making up disabilities, whilst the virus can get away making up contagious diseases and give a reference to be on the great way power inquiry panel. In the words of the Daily Express columnist, hey, don't lie. Why else is the face of Windrush 70 pushed over the edge to be a criminal needing emotional regulation treatment? It's the history of our ancestors repeating itself. But as Nelson Mandela stated, I was made a criminal by the law. Dot, dot, dot. Go do your research. You know the rest. You would believe the criminal justice system and the crown prosecution services would have learned from the stories of the national heroes of Jamaica, who fought the bridges, some taken to the hills like Nancy of the Maroons. I must use the same in the lion who doesn't learn to run. The hunter will always tell the story. In remembering the contributions of Mr. Robinson and his work ethics and high work standards passed down to the Windrush young generation. As the Windrush oral history resources are created, death has a time to steal us away, but thanks to Mr. Robinson for the foundations he laid, I have been given a voice to dedicate this truth to him. So my stories can be heard because I was a participant in Dr. Maria Hudson's The Experience of Multiple Discrimination. Swept under the House of Commons carpet and destroyed, same as how they are waiting on the time to pass to get rid of the evidence of miscarriages of justice. Not once, but twice, in a criminal record needing ERT to cover for abusers. Operating out of the House of Commons nurseries, my audience started at BIB after the death of Mama Lou. Rest in peace, Mr. Robinson, as I use this chance to share my empowerment. As a talented individual, individual who lost eight years of my life, systematic discrimination. I'll try and see this. But I'm very emotional. Death has a time to steal us away. Death has a time to steal us away. Death has a time to steal us away. To steal us and carry us away. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.